Many restaurant owners I speak to would like to use videos to promote their restaurant but don't have the equipment to create a professional looking video and don't want the expense of paying to have videos produced for them. Therefore, in this video I'm going to show you a way to create your own professional videos that is quick, easy and very low cost. So first, let's look at how we can create a general promo video for your restaurant that can be used on your website and on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram etc. So here we are inside the video software that I recommend for creating your videos and you'll find a link to this software underneath this video and that link will actually get you a totally free seven day trial so you can actually just have a look and see how well it could work for you and actually create some videos for yourself straight away in that software. So what I'm going to do as I say is make a quick promo video for a fictitious pizza restaurant that I have just made up and what I'm going to do is actually initially drop some wording into this box here on the right. Now for you this would obviously be wording about your restaurant and I'll show you later how we can actually use this same software to create videos of reviews for your restaurant, videos related to events that you're running, videos to highlight specific menu items or specials and also videos to promote specific calendar events such as Easter or Valentine's Day. But here I've put in some wording. I've only got what six different lines there. This could be as long or as short as you want it to be. Let me just move those down so we're actually breaking them up slightly. So you can see there, double zero pizzeria in Colchester, etc. etc. Some information there about the restaurant. So it's a general bit of promo information. So what I'm going to do now is let the software get to work by pressing the create scenes for your video button. And what happens then is first and foremost the software takes the sentences that you put on the previous screen and breaks them into slides. So if we move down here you'll see each one has got the wording on a particular slide. Now I've chosen a specific theme for this video so I've chosen that I want it to be a square video which is ideal for putting on Facebook for example but you could choose the normal more landscape style video if you wanted to. You can also choose a lot of different colour combinations so here this has got a bluish coloured band across it with white writing and you'll see some of these um, highlighted words here are in yellow but if you wanted to change the blue, the white, the yellow, you wanted to change the font and all things like that then that's very easy to do. So for example you may want to change it to colours that reflect your restaurant theme or your logo or something like that so changing the colours here. Now as you'll also see the software is very cleverly gone away and looked at the wording in each of these sentences and it's tried to find either a video clip or an image related to the wording in there. Now you can choose whether you keep these, change them, upload your own or whatever you want to do but it's giving you a great starting point. So let's look at these and see what we can do with them. So you see here it's obviously looked at the word pizzeria and it's found a video clip that has got that wording in there. This might be ideal for you, it might not. So let's have a look, say that it's not one that you want, what can we do? Well first of all we can come over here to the left hand side and we can either search for video clips or for images. So for example we could search for pizza because we are a pizza restaurant in this example and what you'll find then is that down here there are lots and lots of different options. So for example this one here is a pizza that is rotating. If you wanted to use that one in your video you simply click on it and there it is. That now is in your video. 
So we'll say that is one we wanted to use for there. Let's come down to the next slide. And again, there is a great pizza video there. Now, if you didn't want to use these and you wanted to use a video or an image of your own, you could then come into the upload section and you could click and upload your own video or your own image. And then you could again click on that and it would appear here within the video. So let me come back up to this first one here and just show you a few of the other options we've got. So we've decided this video is the one that we want. We could also change where the wording appears if you want to. So you could click change text position. So this could, for example, go in the middle. Or you could have it at the top. As you see, when it's in the middle, we have this um, glaze over here and the wording in the middle of it. So I think we'll leave that where it is there. Now you'll see there are also options to have it around the sides, so in the corners on the left or right. But because we're doing the square type video, there isn't space for it on the right hand side. If you're doing a more landscape video, you'd be able to just have the wording on one side or the other side if you preferred that. So we'll say that we are happy with that. Let's move down to the second one. And again, that is a good pizza video there that will be good for this particular video for us. We'll come down here. Different pizza toppings on rotation. Now that's obviously a pudding and I think it's, it's picked up on the word toppings there so that's not what we're going to want. Let's have a look at another one that would be a good one for us to use. So I'm going to choose this one here and that's one with people eating and enjoying their pizza and then down here no limits on how much pizza you can eat let's just use another one you can obviously take a lot longer and decide let's have a, somebody actual actually eating pizza have we got that we have there That's somebody actually eating pizza no limits on how much pizza you can eat you can obviously get these to be just right or even use your own images or your own videos well from vegan gluten free and halal pizza options we can leave that on there and coming down here, this is now at 156 Station Street in Burton-on-Trent. Now that's picked up on the word station. That's obviously not something you're going to want there. But let's say, for example, you wanted to use your own logo here at this point. So what you could do is come into Uploads. Let's go into Images. And you could actually click Upload Image and you'd then find an image on your own computer. So let me just stop the video and I'll do that now. And now I've uploaded that. I'm just going to click on it. And there it is. So we've got a logo in there and the wording underneath asking people to visit us at our address. Now you may want to change some of those lines there so that Station Street is on the same line. But I think you can get the idea of there we have our different slides that are going to make up our video. You'd obviously take longer on this, but that will do us for now for this quick example. What we're going to do now is click the button that says add voice track to your video. We now have several options. Firstly, if you just wanted to have some music behind your video, we don't need to do anything else here. You could just click preview your video. If you wanted to record your own voice track, for the video or you wanted to upload a voice track you've got those options here but I'm going to show you what is a very clever auto voice op option so I've clicked on here and we then have a choice of automated voices if you're in the USA or Australia there are a number of voices for you and similarly for us here in the UK we have a number of voices so for example if you wanted Kate to be the voice of your video you just click Kate and you can play a sample. Hi, my name is Kate and I would love to read the script you for your video. Sounds like so there. sit back, relax and I'll do I all the hard work for you. My preferred option, which is Harry, who sounds like... Hi, my this. name is Harry and I would love to read the script. So what I'm going to do is just click preview your video and he will then speak all the words that we have actually entered for our specific video. So let me press this now. And that goes away and creates the scene for you and builds your preview.
and that then appears just like that. And that then brings us into here. We can then choose music that we'd like to have in the background of the video and as you'll see there's a number of those down here you can see what they sound like just by pressing the button here that's that one that's one called countdown there's a number of those you can choose whichever you like i'm going to use this one here called the right path which sounds a little bit like this so we'll use that one then the other tweak I normally make is music volume, I'm going to turn that up to 30%. Voice track volume will leave the same. The voice track speed, so that is Harry's voice in our example. I normally slow that down slightly because it sounds more lifelike and more realistic to 85%. I then need to click apply just to apply all those to the video. And then you can actually watch what your video will look like. Now, I won't show you it now. I'm going to actually create the video properly now so you can see the finished version of it. Um, but at this point, what you could do is actually watch the video, see if it looks OK, go back and change things if you wanted to. You can manually adjust timing. There's lots of other things that you can change. But I want to keep this really short just to show you how quick and easy it is to create a professional looking video for your restaurant. So all we'd actually do at this point when we're happy with everything, we click on the looks good continue button. That brings us into here. And then all we do is click the generate your video button. And the software then goes away and starts actually creating it for us. And as soon as it's finished, it will give you the option to download it to your computer. And you can then obviously upload it to Facebook or wherever you want to. So I'll stop the video now while this is progressing and is finishing off the video. And then I'll come back and actually show you our finished article. So here we have our finished video. I've downloaded this and opened it in my video viewer, which is where you're getting some of these controls showing at the bottom here. Obviously, they wouldn't be showing if you uploaded this to your own Facebook page or something like that. But I will play this now and just let you see what it's like. Don't forget, we chose the square video shape. Obviously, if you'd have chosen the more um, the wider version, that would have filled the whole screen here. But this is for the Facebook type of square video. So let me play this now. And when you watch this, you've got to realize that we took less than 10 minutes to make this. And that was with me explaining to you what to do as well. And the only thing that I've actually uploaded for this video was the actual final slide here, which is this particular um, logo for this company. Let me bring this back to the start of the video. So you'll see it from the start. Um, everything else is from within the software itself. So all the video clips and all the wording and everything else was created within there. So I think you'll be able to see how easy it is to create professional looking videos for your restaurant. Let me play this to you now. Double Zero Pizzeria in Colchester. Traditional pizza with a modern twist. Different pizza toppings on rotation. With no limits to how much pizza you can eat. We also offer vegan, gluten-free and halal pizza options. Visit us now at 156 Station Street in Burton-on-Trent. So there you go, and I'm sure you'll agree that's a very professional looking video that we made in just a few minutes and it was very quick and easy to create. So let's go back to the video software now and just have a look at a couple of other ways we could use this software to create different sorts of videos for our restaurant. Let's have a look at how we can use the software now to create other videos of reviews that have been left for us. So what you can do is look at your best reviews or your favorite reviews on Google or TripAdvisor or Facebook and copy them and use them in videos. Now, sometimes you may be able to, if a review is long enough, use it just on its own for a video. 
because your videos don't need to be very long in uh, time length at all. Anything up to a minute, even if it is only 20 seconds or so, then that could still make a good video just for you to add to your social media. So let's look at an example of a slightly longer review. So if, for example, we in our text box just put something like another lovely review, and then we paste in here the review itself. So there it is. Now that's quite long, but the software will then break that up into the right number of little scenes for us. Let's, so let's click on here, go through to the next page. So you'll see there another lovely review. Um, I've also used a different type here. So this is the wider type, so we can have text on the right or the middle or the bottom or anywhere. So you'll see what it's done, it's split that review up into different frames. So some of these might be, this might need a little bit of attention, you don't want just the word so on there. But as you can see, what it will do is actually bring those into several different ones there. You can do exactly the same thing here. So you could, because this is still our pizza restaurant, we could go back to pizza clips again and we could decide on this one here. So another lovely review, and we have all these details here. I won't change anything, you've seen how I do that now. But again, what we could do there is go through to the voice. This is a review from a girl, it was from Jessie. So we might decide to have a girl's uh, voice actually reading that. We go through to preview. And what that gives us there, as soon as it appears, that's a 17 second video. Now I've done nothing to change this. Another lovely review. This place is just great. Had many good gluten free pizzas in America, but this is the first I've had in England. Delicious crust with lovely quality toppings, and the service is really great too. So pleased I live close enough to visit regularly. Thank you, Jesse Davies. So as you can see, that's, that obviously would need a little bit more work to get the right images, the right video clips, etc., and to space it out a little better. But you can see there, that took me seconds to create a 17-second video. And you could effectively do that for lots of the different reviews you've got on your site or on Google or any of those sort of places. If it is a long review, like this one, you could make one single video out of it if you've got shorter reviews for example let's have a look at let me just copy these if you had reviews like this for example so they are shorter ones you could for example have one video that had three different reviews in there and what this would mean is you can constantly be creating new videos to put onto your Facebook page. Reviews, as I'm sure you know, are great social proof for your business. They are proof that people like eating with you and people are giving recommendations for you. So let's not just let these sit on Google or sit on your Facebook reviews. Let's actually create them into videos and actually promote them on our Facebook page. Let's just have a very quick look now at three other ways that you can use videos to promote your restaurant. The first one is to promote events at your restaurant. So as an example, and we won't make any videos for these, but I'll just show you as examples, you could have a music evening, live music at the Berlin, classic jazz from the Four Cops, Sunday 5th of June at 7pm. Again, a simple video, you might want a few extra lines in there with a little bit more description, a little bit more information. There could be your address on there, depending on where you're going to use this. But, but again, all you want is a fairly short video that you can put on Facebook. So if it's 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute long, ideal for putting on there. Lots of people see it, you get interaction, videos get a better response, they get more views generally than images and just normal posts so you can see how quick and easy this would be with just a few lines there go through put in the various images etc and that could work superbly for you the next idea is to spotlight some of your menu items or your specials so for example you could make this type of a video have you tried our sirloin steak 
it is juicy and tender and the knife just falls through it it's served with fries and onion rings so again you could do no end of those videos for different items on your menu different specials um, just spotlighting them and it's more content that you can be adding to your Facebook page Twitter etc on a regular basis and the final idea I'm going to give you for now in this video to get it finished and so that you haven't got to sit here watching it for too long is this one and it is for calendar events so for example you can make videos to promote your restaurant for Valentine's Day for Easter for Christmas for any of those specific events um, that come up throughout the year so wording here for example this Valentine's Day treat your loved one to a special meal at the Raj Palace we're making it make it an evening you won't forget book your table on and your phone number so there is just another idea of how you can use this software to easily and quickly create videos so there we have it for this video I hope you can see that this software is a great way to make videos for your restaurant it's a way that you can make lots of videos and create lots of content to upload to your Facebook page Twitter etc beneath this video I've added a link so that you can actually go and find out more details about the software you will also be able to get a totally free seven day trial of the software so you can actually make some videos for yourself and see how it works and then if you decided to keep it after that you also get a 25% discount on the software um, and it is very affordable particularly as it's something that you can be using week in week out to make different videos so for example different review videos different events things like that you can be making them on a regular basis so you've always got fresh content and I'd love to hear from you as to what difference this makes if you use the software on an ongoing basis for a few weeks or get a member of your staff or family to make the videos for you you will notice the interaction on your Facebook and the actual responses you're getting from people on there will increase massively so please let me know how you get on and I hope you found this video useful